theory about what is the one piece, the treasure, first of all, this thread merely a theory, with some fact that we gather and analyze. This theory is posted and translated to English from Koskus.co.it in Indonesian language. And English language isn't my first language, so bear with it, and sorry for my bad English. First of all, what is One Piece? I will try to explain what is the finding of the One Piece Indonesian community. But first, we need to look back to the story. Some times ago, a pirate, named Gaul D. Roger finally set sail and landed on a raft, and find the truth of the void century, hence, he found the truth about the world. The truth about the world is that once, there are a very advanced kingdom in the moon from technology point of view. This kingdom name is Birka. Birka people can make robot, mecha and dials from their knowledge. But, after some time, the Birka people migrated to blue planet, Earth, because the moon resources is drained out. This theory is strengthened with Enel's side story. You can find more about this ancient kingdom when people from Moon, Birka, descend to Earth. They accept all Earthlander that want to join them, and then with their technology, they united and become a great kingdom, surpassing all other kingdom in that era. But then, because of jealousy from other country, kingdom, the war started between Birka descendant kingdom with other 20 kingdom that united as one force to slay in Birka. To protect themselves and end the war, Birka developed three weapons, which is Pluton, Poseidon, and Uranus, which we known from Robin conversation with King Neptune in the end of Fishman Island Dark. So far we only have a slight information about Uranus, a better understanding that Pluton is a warship, and we all know what Poseidon is, right? About Pluton, about this part, it's really a theory without any fact for standing at all. But, what if Pluton warship is equipped with some another devastating weapon, which is Uranus, and the effect of both or either one of this ancient weapon? All of three ancient weapon that stated above then used in the Void Century War. The usage of ancient weapon in that war affecting the land and the sea and the earth. The impact of ancient weapon usage is seismic activity of sea volcano, that at the end erupt and resulting in land, which is red line, that separating the sea. Because of this, the sea current is changing drastically too, thus calm belt and grand line born, and earth sea divided to four parts. In the end, all of those advanced technology have knee impact in the result of war. Void century war, as we know, have the result that the descendant of Birka is loose, and other country, the 20 kingdom, become the winner. But before the Birka kingdom destroyed, they hid all three ancient weapon in hidden location or destroyed it, so the 20 kingdom can't use that weapon. Not long after this, the world government starting the Void Century project to destroy all evidence about this war. Some of Birka people is survived the aftermath. They are escaped the slaughter, and somehow managed to live in other island. Within the survivor, there are someone or maybe group that hold the ancient weapon secret, and this survivor end up in Fishman Island. Believing that this secret safe in the hands of people of Fishman Island, they give the secret to Fishman Island people or maybe king to safety. Sometime later, the secret of Pluton then handed down to Tom, which is the one who built Oro Jackson, Roger Ships. Back to survivor of Birka, all of survivor then hid themselves from the current world government that created by those 20 kingdom kings that will descend into Tenryu Beta, and then the survivor using letter D, a homage to Moon, a half moon, as their middle name. All their descendant later still using this name in their middle of their name. So, in this theory, all of people with the middle name D is descended by those Birka people. All this survivor then set to sea and later ended in Rathl and hid there until now. In Rathl, they create Ponel with and write all the truth about Void Century, and disperse it all around the world, so, the truth will be out. After some time, some of Birka survivor then splitting all around the world. Before they splitting, Birka survivor finally make one scheme when they are in Raft Island. This scheme is the One Piece. The One Piece is a scheme that has purpose to reclaim all four divided sea into one sea, hence the name, One Piece. 
This scheme will be activated and aimed at one point where all sea and earth coming to one point, which is in red line reverse mountain. Notice in the X mark, there are one spot that have all four sea current that joining into one. X mark in red line that's the one X mark that needed to destroy, and that's the role of Pluton, Uranus. After that point destroyed, all of four sea will connect it into one, and that resulted in storm and huge maelstrom. survivor from this scheme. In some time, the sea will stabilize to you, and then, One Piece scheme is done. One Piece project then, when Roger know all about this, why he don't do it? It's because his terminal diseases. He says in his execution the famous lines that resulting in Great Pirate Era, hoping that there are other people who ultimately can do what he cannot do, that simply other people will continue what he has done. This legacy, to reclaim back all the sea into one sea, will it be? That's why Sengoku say that Whitebeard is set for the chance to make him a pirate king. Until now, Whitebeard believed that he is the one who ultimately inherited the will of he and fulfilling all he destiny, and not some other people with he in the middle of their name, namely Blackbeard. That's the theory about what is the One Piece from Indonesian Forum. What do you think?